Hi, this is Tanya K. Taylor with River Rain Creative Arts. Here's a short tip for you. If what you're doing doesn't seem to be working, especially if you're trying to do something for the Lord, like I was this morning, I was trying to edit a book and do some other administrative things, and the flow just wasn't there. So I finally perceived that the Lord wanted me to do some creative things like make more videos and just do some more writing on the next book. Book three of the Princess Pearl series, The Adventures of Princess Pearl Power Girl, P-O-W-E-R, which stands for Purposeful Operations with Eternal Rewards. So here's the deal. If what you're doing just doesn't seem to be working, then ask the Lord. Stop and ask the Lord. Maybe, Lord, maybe you want me to be doing something else right now. Now there is the fact that you can ask for grace to finish something. There's a finishing anointing because sometimes our flesh just does not want to do something and we need to do it and we need to do it then. So ask him for wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. But to close, I want to leave you with two verses you can stand on. One is Nehemiah 6, 9. They were all trying to frighten us thinking their hands will get too weak for the work and it will not be completed. But I prayed, meaning Nehemiah, who was the leader of a great work to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, he said that he prayed, Lord, now strengthen my hands. I do that pretty often. Lord, strengthen my hands for the work. If I'm feeling weak or tired or just don't want to do something, Lord, strengthen my hands. There is a thing in the Bible where the mouth is called the hand of the mouth. So you can use your words to speak scriptures and strengthen yourself and just to pump yourself up otherwise like I want to do this I need to do this the Lord's going to help me do this and he will unless which is what I'm talking about today unless he really does want you to be redirected to do something else during that time so just stop and ask him he's your father if you know Jesus his son as your Savior and Lord then he is your heavenly father. He's your loving daddy. And he is your good shepherd also who leads you in right paths. So just ask him. He will answer you. It may not be where you hear him say it, but you will have a knowing. Or he'll lead you to a scripture. Or he'll even speak to you through a song on Christian radio. Maybe even a sign going down the road. God can work in all kinds of ways. He also speaks through videos like this. And here is the second scripture and the final scripture today. Psalm 127 1 unless the Lord builds the house the builders labor in vain and how well do I know that I've had many good ideas that were not really God ideas and I thought they were God ideas and I started building them and they did not come to completion or the enemy got in the way or both or something so sometimes the enemy does try to thwart God's work of course he doesn't want God's work to go forward but sometimes it's just what we think we should do for God and it's not really God telling us to do it so here's my point ask the Lord and get peace from him confirmation in your heart maybe even confirmation from other people although you don't need other people really to tell you what to do unless they're your spiritual leaders or it's your spouse that you really have a close spiritual connection with and you can trust to really help you be in unity about the things of God and then if you do have peace and you keep going and you hit roadblocks now there's going to be challenges but ask the Lord for wisdom every step of the way this is why we need the Holy Spirit every moment we need him speaking to us guiding us every moment so may these quick tips help you and you can use these verses in every area of life every day so God bless you and happy thanksgiving and be sure and ask the lord for wisdom and thank him that you receive it by faith he will show you what to do god bless bye